Hi, Joaquin Miller Wolverines. I miss you guys. Um, it's not the same not getting to see your beautiful faces in the hallway every day, and I hope you guys are doing all right coping at home. I know some of you might be bored out of your minds, but hopefully you're getting some schoolwork done and time spent with your families, having a good time playing games, reading books, that sort of thing. I'm hoping this will be the first of several read-aloud books that I will share with you during this time that we are not in school. We'll see how this first one goes. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to move the document camera around and we'll get started. All right, so this first book that I'm going to share with you guys today is called Who Needs Donuts? Story and Pictures by Mark Allen Stamati. And this is one of my most favorite books ever. My father used to read this to me when I was a little girl, so it holds a special place in my heart. In fact, I believe... This copy was given to my son on his first birthday. It says, happy first birthday, bud. The, this question, who needs donuts, goes back generations. Ask your mom. Uh, I think that says, grow strong, Lennon, love Grandpa Doug. What's special about this book is the pictures. The drawings are absolutely incredible. They're super detailed and kind of crazy. You can see all the great pictures here. All right, here we go. Oops. Sam lived with his family in a nice house. He had a big yard with lots of friends. He wanted donuts, not just a few, but hundreds and thousands and millions more donuts than his mother and father could ever buy him. Finally, one day, he hopped on his tricycle and rode away to the big city. So if you look closely, you can see a turtle here pushing something in the grass. There are all sorts of weird little things like that in these pictures. I love it. To look for donuts. And here's a picture of the big city. Looks like those cars don't really know how to drive in traffic, if you ask me. He didn't find any. Until he met a man with a big wagon full of donuts. Hello, said the man. My name is Mr. Bickford, and you look like a boy who wants some donuts. I collect them, but it's very hard work for one person. Would you like to help me? What do you think he's going to say? Look at all those donuts. Oh, boy, said Sam. He climbed into Mr. Bickford's wagon, and off they went. As they rolled through the streets, they passed a sad old woman sitting on a doorstep. Who needs donuts? She shouted. That's right. Who needs donuts when you've got love? Hmm. A few minutes later, they stopped in front of a huge warehouse. Mr. Bickford unlocked the door. And Sam walked into the darkness. What do we think he's going to see? When the lights went on, he saw more donuts than he had ever imagined there could be. While Mr. Bickford emptied the wagon, Sam ate and played in the donuts. Then they went collecting. Mr. Bickford knew all the best places to look, and Sam had learned his job very fast. And here's Sam in the picture. He's got one in his mouth, and he's carrying the rest of them here. And if you look, there's all these weird-looking bird-slash-rhino-slash-elephant-slash-horse pictures. When I was a little girl, I just would, could spend hours looking at these all these different pictures. Together, they collected so many donuts 
that their wagon broke down. Sam went looking for a telephone to call the repairman, but every phone he saw was out of order. These are called phone booths, children. You don't see those much anymore now that we have cell phones. At last he found a woman with a big wagon full of pretzels. Her name was Pretzel Annie, and she had a telephone with a direct line to a wagon repairman. While Sam helped the repairman fix the wagon, something wonderful was happening between Mr. Bickford and Pretzel Annie. From the first moment they saw each other, they fell in love. By the time the wagon was fixed, they had decided to get married and open a pretzel store. Mr. Bickford gave Sam the wagon and all of the donuts in it. Don't you want to collect donuts anymore? said Sam. Who needs donuts? said Mr. Bickford. And he and Pretzel Annie ran off together. A moment later, the sad old woman came walking by. That's right, she said. Who needs donuts when you've got love? Suddenly, Sam found himself all alone in the big city with a wagon full of donuts. He took a bite of one, but he was too full to eat it. And the idea of collecting more didn't seem like any fun without Mr. Bickford. What am I going to do with all these donuts? He asked himself as he trudged down the street. You can see the picture here with the car. All sorts of people in these cars. I see this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people inside of it, along with some animals. Meanwhile, the sad old woman had gone home to her tiny room in the basement of a coffee factory where she lay down for her afternoon nap. Uh-oh, something's happening here. She didn't get much sleep, however, because at that moment a wild bull was escaping from the pet shop next door. It charged into the coffee factory butted a hole in a giant vat of coffee and ran away. The coffee poured out all over the floor, down a stairway, and into the basement. When the old woman woke up, she found herself over her head in a room full of lukewarm coffee. Help! Save me! she cried. I can't swim! Sam heard her screams, but he couldn't swim either, so he had to think fast. He pulled the donut wagon over to the window. Who needs donuts? cried the old woman. You do, said Sam. He tilted the wagon and poured all of the donuts into the basement. Now, for those of you that are with me still, what happens when you put a donut inside the liquid? Hmm, let's find out. The donuts soaked up all the coffee, leaving the old woman sitting in a shallow puddle. You and your donuts have saved my life, she said. How can I ever repay you? She offered him her meager life savings, but to buy more donuts, or life savings to buy more donuts, but Sam refused. Who needs donuts, he said. I've got love. He said goodbye hopped on his tricycle, and rode home. And that's it. That's the end of the story. I hope you guys liked it. I'll try and read you another one tomorrow. Hang in there. Stay safe. Be strong. Love you guys.